The goose. The goose is known throughout ancient cultures. I think I've said this before, and I think I keep saying I think I've said this before. The Romans were well warned about the barbarians or the Gauls at the gates. Something to do with juvenile, I think. Anyway, they were warned by the cackling of geese. Uh, symbol for Cupid, or Cupid is often represented by a goose. Uh, then of course we have the Brahmani goose, and I know I've said this before. In Asia Minor, the Brahmani goose. And where else? Seb. Seb's symbol was a goose. Wasn't it, little ones? And there is probably mummy. Or is that daddy? Or is that mummy? Or is that daddy? Look, little baby. Munching away. Innocent oblivious to the goings on of mankind. Aren't they cute? Look. Let's see the little ones. Yes, little geese. Nip, nip, nip. Nip, nip, nip. Yeah, zoom in on the little ones. Yeah, folks, I just had my interview. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about it. I'd rather spend time here with the geese. Bells, mummy and daddy watching me, thinking, mm, you've got her eye on you. Don't worry, I'm not considering for dinner. Here's a latecomer. Little one. <coughs> Eating those daisies, eh? Yeah, go and catch up with your brothers and sisters. Cute little thing. How many of them? Uh, it's a big brood. Is that brood? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a magic number. Eight is the magic number. Yeah, this is what it's all about for me, folks. I should be in the Amazon now, but I'm not. But I'm here, surrounded by muppets. Actually, at least now I'm surrounded by geese. Little geesey geesey. Goosey geesey. What's a goose geese? Yeah. Right, let me leave them in peace. Not more. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, mummy and daddy. This little one. Hey, chill. Chill. Huh? Yeah. Can't say I blame them. He hissed or she hissed. I go away from my children. Hey, you hiss at me again. I might have to come here and grab you in case the food chain collapses and cook you. But we'll leave that for the future. It's a joke, folks, although it is a powerful Taoist technique of reconciling of opposites or the use of paradox. And now I am repeating myself. So I'll shut up.